Callaway say that these irons will make you hit it four yards further and 20% tighter dispersion downrange. Now they are super bold claims. The question is, do they deliver? Now on face value, these honestly could be some of the best irons I have ever hit, period. These are the AI Smoke irons of 2024, Callaway's newest irons, and I'm gonna say right now, they are a massive upgrade on last year's paradigms. So I'm gonna put the pitching wedge and the five iron to the test. Now, what technology do these irons have? Well, a little bit like the AI Smoke driver, they have an AI smart face for maximized distance and is engineered hollow body design with progressive shaping through the set. So I'll be honest, nothing new in terms of the hollow body design, but an upgrade in the face. Now, you can get these in lofts from 4-iron all the way down to sand wedge. The 4-iron is relatively strong, around 19 degrees, and then all the way down to your sand wedge, which would sit at 54 degrees. All the loft options are available here on the screen. Let's start off with hitting a pitching wedge. Now, I'm actually really interested to see what these sound like, what these feel like, what they look like down behind the ball. Because in the past, right, when I've hit hollowed headed irons, They've sounded a little weird. When we did a test of the best irons of 2023, I said the Paradigm irons last year sounded, well, not my cup of tea. Now, first thing that I would say, because we have that progressive head design, you don't get the chunky look in these shorter irons. And I think for a good golfer, that's gonna be a big, big positive. First impressions, looking down on this, I like the shape and I love how it sits down behind the ball. The slightly glossy outer edge to the matte inner where the grooves are is a nice touch. Turning this round and looking at the back, I said last year's, right, felt a little bit and looked a little bit plasticky, even for a premium iron. Whereas this year, we've got rid of all that plastic and there's only this sort of slight smoky area here on the back this is a massive upgrade for me in terms of looks, not only sort of shelf appeal, but how it looks down behind the golf ball. Okay, so what numbers should I expect? Remember the claims are you're 20% tighter, so we'll have a look at how that goes, but also four yards longer. Now I would expect to hit my pitching wedge anywhere from sort of 130 to 135 on a good one. So let's hit five away, see how these numbers go, and let's see if they deliver. Now I'm interrupting this video for a very good reason. Fancy getting your hands on all of these? That's a brand new Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke driver, fairway wood and hybrid. Yes, all three brand new. So if you want to get involved dead easy, subscribe to the channel here at How Good Golf, turn on the bell and share this video across any social media platform. Every share is worth five extra entries. Good luck and I can't wait for you to watch the rest of this video. Right, three away. Average distance around there, without going into the numbers too much, around about 134 yards on the carry. So exactly where I'd expect. Now, they are very close and literally two of them literally landed on top of each other. So what do they sound like? I mean, they don't sound clunky. They actually feel, I'm not gonna say they feel like a forged iron, but for something like this, they feel relatively soft off the face, which I actually think, obviously, we're looking at a wedge here, is a good thing. We don't want it to feel like it's like hot and firing and going. We want a little bit of control with this. So it'll be interesting to see if that changes as we go into the five iron. All right, let's hit two more away here. Now, I said I liked it down the dress, but this is why I like it. That top edge doesn't look particularly thick. Like if we look at other irons in this category, they look chunky. The top edge is exceptionally chunky, whereas this is nice and subtle. And again, I like the glossy outer edge, the sound as well. This is what it sounds like. It doesn't sound like I'm hitting a hollow headed iron, which I think is what we want from this. We don't want it to be something where it's sounding ridiculously different, like potentially other brands have done and other clubs have done. That was a really, really good shot there. 139 yards carry, 146 yards in total distance. And have a look at this dispersion. Now I'm not getting too carried away right now because this is only wedge. These are the sort of things I would expect, but look at this here. One, two on top of each other, one straight down the banner, one a little bit right, and this is the first shot to be fair. <laughs> but overall, 
very, very consistent. Let's hit one more away and we'll dive into all these numbers. Because if we think logically, what do we want from this set? We want control with those shorter irons, but we want some distance and some flight with those longer ones. That's what these hollow headed designed irons are meant to do. Give you some extra distance, help you get the ball in the air and give you that control. Right, last pitching wedge away here. There's another absolute peach of a shot. I reckon this is exactly the same, around that 136 yard mark, maybe a little bit longer actually, but again, all around the same number. Let's dive into them. Now let's get into this data. Now remember this pitching wedge is 42 degrees. So I wouldn't say it's particularly strong, but it's definitely stronger than what I have used in the past. Okay, so we've got 101 speed here. We've then got carry 134, spin 73, and then this is what I'm really interested in. This number here, bottom right, 2.2 yards left. That's the average I hit it. So really tight dispersion. That's everything we're looking for with this iron. Now going back to the claims that Callaway say is that you're gonna hit it longer. Now for me, this is exactly what I'd expect. 134 yards. Yes, it was starting to get a little bit further on those carries as I went through the hitting, but my average carry was 134 yards. My last one being one of 40. So let's say maybe one, two yards longer. Certainly not four, but definitely a little bit longer. But the one thing I'm seriously impressed with, but again, I'm not getting too carried away here, is this average dispersion off the line, 2.2 yards. No matter what club that is, that is seriously impressive. Okay, let's get into five iron now. I'm really impressed with the sound, the feel. Does this go into what the five iron is too? So let's just firstly give you an idea what this looks like down at the golf ball. Now remember, this is a hollow head designed iron. And when I place this down, like in the last 12 months, I've used a forged set of irons and they aren't hollow. They aren't anything like this. But as you place this down, it looks very similar. And I'll be honest, I know people would say, no, I want something to look really forgiving. I want them to look chunky. But I think if you're looking at a sort of mid handicap golf around that 14, 15 range, we want it to look good, not look too chunky, not sound awful, look like a better iron than it actually is, if you know what I mean, or better player's iron than it actually is. So looking at this down at the ground, Yes, when you place it down, you can start to slightly see the back edge or the underneath of that cavity, but it's not in your face. That progressive head design, it's obviously bigger than you see in the pitching wedge, but everything that I'm gonna echo of, I like the idea of the sit, the shape, the top edge, how it looks and appeals behind the ball. It's a very, very good looking iron. The only thing a bugbear would have is you can start to see the back edge, but I realize for some people, that is not gonna be the be all and end all. You can sort of see how this sort of slightly steps out a little bit more to help you guys launch it up in the air, help you get some distance. Now, numbers wise, we'd sort of expect around here, we're looking at maybe like 135 plus ball speed. And I would sort of say my carry for a five iron is around that 195 yard mark. So it's gonna be interesting. Remember these claims are that you're gonna be four yards longer. 20% tighter dispersion. Here's five shots away. Let's see if they deliver. These things feel hot. Sound is extremely similar to what I said in the pitching wedge. It doesn't feel clunky, it doesn't sound clunky. It sounds, I'm gonna say it, a little bit like a forged iron. It definitely feels a little bit firmer off the face than the pitching wedge does, but let's have a look at these numbers. So 135 ball speed, exactly what I was saying. Have a look at this carry. Now I said on average, I carry my five iron around 195. That last shot there, and I actually think this wasn't one of the furthest, went 202 yards, finishing around 215. I would say one thing though, these are launching for me a little lower than I would expect. Let's go to the dispersion though on this side of the screen. Not too bad. Obviously a little bit wider than what I had with the pitching wedge, but that's to be expected. Let's hit two more. Overall, very, very good so far. Very good. Now this five iron loft is 20 
two degrees. Now, you do know your five iron loft. Let's get down in the comments here. Let me know what you think of these. Are these some irons that you've got your eyes on? The Paradigm AI Smoke, the brand new irons of 2024 from Callaway. I would love to know if you've got your eyes set on these or if you've had any of the other Paradigm irons before. They also do offer a high launch version in these if you're someone that really struggles to get the gold ball up in the air you can go down that route too. And those lofts are slightly weaker in order to aid you to do that. Okay, so let's hit another two here, then we'll dive into these averages. That was another really good hit. Another really good hit. It's gonna be upwards of that 195 mark again, straight down the barrel. That's one of the best shots of the day. One of the best of the day. These genuinely could be the best irons I have ever hit, period, end of. But there are plenty more to try in 2024. These are just the first ones I have tried, but it's gonna take a lot to beat them. Let's just dive into these numbers. So remember, 20% tighter dispersion, and that for me is a huge thing, especially when you're looking at a five iron, a long iron and 0.5 left average offline. That last shot that I hit was only 5.9 yards left. None of those that I hit, even the one that went up at the right, would have still hit the green. Now looking down these numbers, you've got 223 yards average total, 207 yards average carry, which is definitely longer and more than that four yards. But again, I'm gonna say this cautiously because this is definitely a stronger lofted club. Average ball speed, 135.5. The last one that I hit, 136.1. So overall, these irons are seriously impressive. I really do believe this is an upgrade on what Callaway did last year. One, the shelf appeal, how it looks behind, which is a big thing, obviously. It wants to look good in your bag. How it looks down behind the golf ball, the performance, but also, for me, the sound. It sounds more like a premium iron. I know it is, but last year's one sounded a little bit plasky, a little bit clunky to me. This one sounds more like sort of a forged, better player's iron, but with that hollow-headed design and everything to help you become a better ball striker. Thank you so much for watching this review of Callaway's new irons in 2024. But we have so much coming up. We've got reviews from Cleveland, TaylorMade, Ping, Cobra, so many coming your way. So be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell. That way you never miss any of the content.